Well, glad you're okay. Goldie, what is this whole meeting about? Seriously. Glad you ask. Well, the reason why, wait, where's my stuff? Uh, he went back to his dimension. For how long? Yeah, for a little while. Oh. Yeah, he probably won't be here for a little while. No, that's fine. But the reason why I called you all here is because I know how to defeat King Duty. How, exactly? Well, with this. Uh, Golden Freddy? You do realize that's some kind of gem, right? Not a star. Well, Funtime Freddy and Boy and Boy, believe it or not, this is actually the first star that first came to this world. Really? Yeah. You want me to tell you a really long tale? Yeah. How long is it? 10 to 15 minutes. That's something. Okay. You better not fall asleep. I'm not. Alright. You all want to listen? I mean, I want to listen. Me too. Same here. I mean, I kind of want to know what's going on. True. Yeah. Eli! Same here. Yeah. Alright. Well, this tale is going to be really, really long, so I want you all to pay attention. Okay. And Fuzzy, don't fall asleep. I'm not! Once every 10 years, a star falls into this world. Anything or anyone sees a star, it will grant any other powers they want. Then, there was a real grand wolf who really wanted a star for good. It was a half silver and half blue wolf hero who really wanted a star for good. He was the guardian of the winter of the winter kingdom, always looking for trouble. Sometimes, not until he found the very first star that he spotted. The very first star was st just standing there, no one in the open, just standing there. The wolf saw the star and wondered, "What does it do?" So he took the star. And you start running, running off. Weeks passed, and he was gaining much more power with the star. Always keeping an eye on it. And no wonder everyone, sh everyone was always looking up about him. Why? Well, he was shiny, just like a star. Watching the star at all costs. But all of a sudden, two villains from the shadows wanted the star so bad for evil. It was King Didi and King Bowser. While the young wolf was just staring above the skies, looking to see if anything was there. Not until Bowser and King Didi showed up. Alright, little guy. Hand over that star and no one gets hurt. Yeah! Hand over the star! No one gets hurt! The young wolf refuses to get the star. So, Bowser and King Didi had no other choice but to kill the young wolf. After being defeated, he still had the power. But the only way to get rid of King Didi Bowser was to sacrifice himself. But he had no other choice. He took the star, and then... 
Using all the power that the star can grant him, he used all of his powers to attack and defeat the big King Didi and Bowser. But King Didi would never give up, so he smashed and bashed him to the ground until he couldn't take it anymore. So his final attack was Star Rush. So he used Star Rush, but sadly, the wolf didn't make it out alive. Still, he crawled to the star that he very first saw. He tries to keep it in touch, but in the end, he died. Within each decade, each star came to the world and then vanished. Each star was found and repeated the same cycle throughout the whole entire star year. But for King D, when he discovered all the stars were found in one place, he decided to call Bowser and decided to take all of the stars away from their owners. Without all the stars, this world would have been collapsed. If it wasn't for that brave young wolf, we would have still be here to this day. And that, my friends, is the tale of the very first star. I mean, after all seriousness, now I can see why we face all these villains. Sort of, kind of, well, Dee Dee's our first one that we ever fought, but... Man, that's honestly a really sad tale, to be honest, Golden Freddy. I mean, if you really think about it, it is. I wish I could see that really brave wolf again, but... He passed, which... That kind of saddens me. Yeah, me too. Hey, Goldie, I have a question. Yeah, but what's up? What do you mean by owners for the stars? Like I said, each and every 10 years, a star falls to this world. Which, which caused by one of the owners. Really? How do you know when great evil comes? <laughs> Good question. Depends on what star it is. So that first one you were talking about, was that the first star of what? Well, honestly I don't know, but... This star that we have right now can defeat King D. Really? Yeah. Wow. So that means. Who is going after the star? Lee? Lee? Um, I'm not so sure, Evie. If we had to choose between one of us who's always after the star, who would it be? Hmm. <laughs> oh, dragon. You are so naive. How come? The answer is right in front of you. Really? Yeah. Frankly? Wait a second. I can't be going after the star. It's just one thing that just, what, fell off the sky or something? Well, yeah, that may be true, frankly, but you never know. Well, I can see why now. Yeah. Honestly, the, that tale honestly kind of saddens me how about that young wolf died. Yeah, I mean, I'm a wolf. Yeah, but you're not the same kind of wolf God was talking about. You? I'm just saying, dude. Like, seriously. I mean, yeah, I know I am a wolf, but I'm a different type of wolf, not the same kind. That's what I just said! Sorry. Man, bro, you're stupid. Shut up. You don't want me to shut up! Well, I'm, all, I'm glad all of you are interested in this story. But, you all gotta explore it on your own. I got things to do. Well, my peeps, I gotta get going. I'd rather just lay in my bed. Don't do anything at all, so. <laughs> yeah, I gotta go. See you later, guys. <laughs> See you later, Josh. Alright, peace out. <laughs> See you, buddy. 
Welp. I gotta go eat my bag of cheese. Later, guys! A bag of cheese? You mean Cheez-Its? No, a, like a bag of cheese. Dude, sometimes I just don't understand your stupid, stupid stupidness. Well, I gotta go fight Cappy. I don't know where he is. Well, later, guys. Woo! Man, that tail honestly kind of saddens me. Yeah, it does too. But hey, on the bright side, at least we have still have each other. Oh yeah, true, born born. Come on, let's go eat some pizza. Okay, well, see you later, guys. See you guys. Bye, bye. Well, I guess I was a little quick, little meanie, I guess. Well, come on, bunny, let's go draw some cartoons. Yay, I'm with you on this one, Boris. Huh. Well, I better get going. Well, I'll see you later, Tails. <laughs> oh.